Hey, what's up guys? Pallav here from nothingwire.com and today we're talking about improve the audio output uh, via your headphones or earphones or even from some wired speakers. Well, almost dramatically at times without changing your source equipment. Now you generally get uh, your earphones and headphones. They come in different qualities. Even your phones uh, nowadays have some built-in um, DACs that kind of you know converts and tries to enhance the sound a bit you get the new xperia x series the vivo series of phones you have phones from lenovo that supports dts technologies all these are geared towards improving the sound output but generally uh, the built-in your you can say amp or sound card or or whatever the conversion happens the the way they process the sound uh, by default in your phone or in your pc are not just good enough maybe your headphone or your earphones are very good but at times they cannot take advantage of that particular sound output even if you have a very good sound file in your disk devices for example a 24-bit sound file a flag sound file lossless line of sound file so a lot of people nowadays specifically the audio files use something called as amp basically for amplifier and or a dac which is also called a digital to analog converter and we are talking about a very pocketable entry-level amp today and that's called the fio a1 that's the one you can see so note that this is only an amp and this is not a dac the main purpose Actually, the only purpose of amp is to increase the sound level in terms of decibels. But some of these, like the A1, comes with additional features like, uh, you know, different equalizers of bass so that you get a slightly better bass as well. But the main function of amp is to increase the sound, whatever sound coming in, be it in analog or digital. It's a very neatly packed box. The few products are very good, although they are Chinese company, but they make some really good equipments for pro audio for audio files. It's very nicely packed, all red and uh, black accent. Uh, in the box, you would find the FIO A1, the device itself with a clip, so that you can attach the device maybe to your collar or maybe to your jeans pocket. Uh, inside this packet here, you'll also get additional two clips, plus you'll get two uh, 3.5 to 3.5 wires so that you can connect this FIO to your phone or to your PC. Plus you'll get a charging cable. Uh, now the charging cable is micro USB. So you can also charge this device with your low powered cell phone or maybe a smartwatch charger as well. Apart from that, you'll get the manuals. That's the uh, content of the box. Now talking about the device feel, it's very well built. It's all aluminum, it's metal, feels metal, nice matte finish, feels great that, you know, dirty silverish kind of thing. Very minimalistic, few written on one side, A1 written on another side. On top, uh, you have four buttons basically. One, you know, one is the power button, the other two are the volume buttons. And then you have a 3.5 mm jack that goes to your microphone. On the bottom side, you have another jack that goes, that the 3.5 mm, you know, cable takes and that kind of goes to your device. Uh, and also your charging point of course micro usb charging point it's only 20 grams so it's very very light and i generally prefer the longer cable than the shorter cable although it's it's kind of more of a hassle to manage all the cables your headphone or earphone cables plus this cable but the shorter cable has a tendency to come off um you know whenever you're managing let's say your uh, let's say you put your phone in your jeans pocket and then try to connect this one to your belt so the shorter one just kind of come off it's kind of slightly too short for me so i generally try to manage the longer ones so what does it do it increases the sound but it also has an additional equalizer feature so three base uh, features basically so whenever whenever you first switch on the device when you buy it it will have the blue lights turned on continuously in that power button if it's dead then it does not have the bass on you would see you or um, rather you would hear the sound coming out from your phone or your pc as it is just elevated you know just like more of volume more punch but then you press once and then it gets to the base one level then base two and then base three base two and base three are kindly kind of you know slightly more managed than the base one base one is the highest in fact my personal favorite is the best one that's the only setting i listen it on 
the volume button does not give any feedback or any tone whenever they reach to you know maximum or minimum volume so you do not have a way to know where um, um, you know when you get to the maximum volume you only need to keep pressing and then if the sound does not increase anymore you um, you know you realize you reach the maximum volume uh, charging is well it's it's very convenient you don't have to carry um, the supplied cable you can charge it via your smartwatch or even your actually uh, you know phone uh, charger what I found is then when I connected this one the, the, the supplied cable to this and to the PC it kind of took a long time to charge so instead I charge it via my smartwatch charger which is about 700 milliampere which is not much uh, more than what it's supposed to have the power it has a 160 mAh battery and I, I do not use my 2 ampere or 2.2 ampere charger because I I just fear that might fry this. So I use my 700 milliampere and that kind of charges it almost in about 15 to 20 minutes. So very, very short charging time. Now, as far as uh, the battery life is concerned, it's very good. It's not a DAC after all, it's only M. So it's not taking much power from your device as well. Plus it gets me through the whole day very easily, but still have some juice left for more than half of the next day and yeah, that's 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 pretty good for a amp you know sometimes if i do not listen to it um, like the whole day it might even get me through three three whole business days uh, you can say like traveling from office to uh, home and those kind of stuff in metro maybe so that's a very good battery life and it's drawing almost negligible power from your phone or uh, from your pc one thing i do not like about this device is it does not have an auto power off so that reduces the battery life somewhat, although not much, but still I would like probably an auto off feature that kind of um, switches it off automatically, maybe after 15 minutes or 30 minutes of even if I'm not listening to music. Now talking about the performance, note that this is an amp after all, so it does not, um, it does not improve the core quality of your music but it kind of just raises the volume, the just raises the loudness, enhances the loudness, not raises, enhances the loudness of the music that you're listening to. It supports impedance of between 16 ohm to 100 ohm. Uh, so if you're, you know, maybe listening to an IEM, which are very sensitive, um, you, you would not get, uh, you would not get to hear much difference because, you know, they are already so sensitive, but uh, if you're listening through some headphones which kind of need you know more impedance like a 40 ohm uh, headphones or 60 ohm headphones then you really start to see the difference this one is great so if you're listening through your IEMs which are very sensitive and which are the impedance of which are towards 16 16 20 those kind of thing then you might not see that difference this might not need it but for headphones and and generally most of these high-end headphones require much power the, uh, the impedance is high like over 30 over 40 at times even 60 so for those headphones this amp really really helps you can really hear the sound difference what other thing does it do uh, apart from the sound enhancement of course it has those base settings so when you couple the sound enhancement with the first base setting that's my favorite then it you, you really start to hear the difference the uh, the bass is kind of spaced out and it's it's more open becomes more open so that's something that i really like about this the bass become deeper at times crisper but its main thing is the separation that it gives the open separation uh, that really really thrills me about this device so that is something i really like so if it wasn't for the base setting probably i would not go and get this because just raising the just enhancing the volume level is not enough for me in you know, 1800 bucks but those base settings when particularly the base one base three is almost useless for me it kind of just about you know controls some of those headphones which gives out too much of bass or too much of let's say sound so base one plus the amp feature here that you know both this couple really work for me Another thing I would really want this amps and DSCs to have in future, I don't know if any of them have this, is the Bluetooth feature. You know, a lot of us actually you are starting to use your Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth earphones. So it would really help if this, if you can enhance the sound of those via some of these amps or DSCs. Right now, most of these, the conventional amps and DSCs only support your wired headphones and earphones. 
So then guys, that's how you can enhance the audio quality just a tad bit or maybe at times dramatically depending on your source device or your headphones or earphones via an amp only or maybe a DSC or a plus amp which is slightly more expensive than this one but not uh, you know not overly compatible with all the devices. Uh, this one costs 1800 1800 bucks I think a very worthwhile investment for the enhancement in the volume plus the base enhancement that you get. The enhancement in the volume might not be of much use of you if you're listening to it at home uh, maybe but just imagine a scenario in a um, you know in an inside an aircraft where maybe your headphone sound the maximum sound is still not enough at that time this really helps. If you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love. Ciao!